Hello there friends, once again welcome back from the team AHA and today we are going to see how to install the next screws in the BYD G6. So essentially the principle remains the same, the next screw sits in between the accelerator pedal and the VCU connector. And in case of BYD, there are uh, some differences. Uh, difference number one is that the light bar has got a very good place to sit in. This is this coin holder in the BYD. And it sits right here. You can paste it here. And it can remain concealed. If you don't want to see it, it can remain concealed inside the coin holder. Second difference is that the OBD connector is on the, uh, the passenger side. It's over there. So we are going to see how to route that, how to connect that. Other than that, essentially it's all the same, the pedal side connector, the VCU side connector and the LED connector. So let's begin. So let's begin with removing the coin holder. We can just pull it out like this and the coin holder comes out and we paste the light bar right here so the connectors for the BYD obviously are different there's some difference in the hardware also for the next screws uh, uh, but this is how essentially it looks the, the same in addition we have this holder for holding the main unit inside the cabinet so we need to insert it like a sleeve over from here and like that and we can just push it like that and let it be here, it will be useful in the future. Then next up, we need to connect the same, like this connector goes on the pedal side and this connector goes on the VCU side. So the procedure stays the same. We reach out on top of the pedal and we remove the accelerator pedal connector and then we take the next screws and connect the pedal side of the connector on top of the accelerator cable by the way if we compare it with the Nexon EV it is way way more easier because the access is nice and everything is very very approachable and this goes to the VCU side of the connector of the car and it is connected like that ok then we have pasted the light bar inside the coin holder and it sits like this and uh, then we can insert the cable like this it goes in and uh, then first the top end goes inside and then the bottom and then it sits again so this light can illuminate this area and it can be concealed like that also now to connect the OBD cable uh, the, this, uh, the BYD E6 has this OBD connector on the passenger side this one over here So we just need to connect the OBD connector directly to this, this connector like that. Okay. So there is no click sound, no nothing, but it should be secure and it's tight enough. And then the, the cable is roped in from the end of this, uh, the, this cavity over here. There's a cavity. The, the cable uh, goes inside here and comes out of the other side of the cavity. And uh, that's how there we have just connected it to the next screws OBD port and uh, uh, that cable is coming out through that cavity over there over to this side and we have connected the OBD port on the next screws and then last we just need to connect the LED connector like so and screw it like that and the wiring is done. Now to assemble the next screws here, so basically there is a slot over here in the BYD. So we, we uh, put a cable tie from here and loop it through one of these cavities and so that the next screws sits very securely right here out of the site and safely secured through the cable ties and that's how we assemble it manually. After this is done, we just need to manage these wires, we need to put it up using more cable ties. 
so that completes the installation of course top it off by putting the the dial on right here on the bottle holder it goes in very snugly and anyway as you know the, the main dial itself of the BYD serve as, serves as the cruise and the cruise resume function and of course don't forget to put the next cruise bubble sticker right here on the dial like that because now your BYD E6 is powered by next cruise so with this the installation of next cruise for the BYD E6 is done simple like that it is just a two minute job hope you like this video please stay tuned